we've gotten some suggestions to make a video about another dinosaur. In this video, we're gonna look at the most vicious dinosaur, and it happens to be the most famous dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus rex, or also known as T-Rex. When you look at the T-Rex, you think you're confronted with the most vicious animal, and that's very true. The way the T-Rex looks matches the way it acts. Just like the way it looks evil, it has an evil personality. This animal didn't live for very long, at least to the standards of the planet Earth. The T-Rex has lived on Earth since 90 million years ago, and 66 million years ago, it went extinct alongside the other dinosaurs. Do you see this giant animal? Its brain is the same as a chicken. In this little amount of brain power, it's wired to protect its eggs, protect itself, and anything it's confronted with to attack it. As you know, T-Rexes were carnivores. In a family of T-Rexes, the jobs are separated. The male is responsible for protecting the home, the eggs, and the kids. And the female has to go hunt down and get food to the family. Even though its brain power is very low compared to its body, but for hunting and killing, it's very efficient. Scientists believe that the T-Rex vision was extremely strong and it could see everything around it. Its eyeball was the same size as a baseball. Its vision was so powerful that in an open area, it could see as far as 6 kilometers. The eyes are set in a way that it could see more than 300 degrees around itself. And you could say the only place it couldn't see was directly behind them. And that is why no animal could really surprise the T-Rex, because it was already ready to fight. When the T-Rex got hungry, it attacked anything. It never thought that this thing is bigger and it's gonna kill me. Or this one could really damage me. Just like we said, its brain is so slow that it only attacks for food. And it does not think about the consequences. It will either eat the thing or die trying. Ankylosaurus a herbivore dinosaur that looked like a tank. There was very thick skin all over this animal and it had a vest on the back that looked like a bulletproof vest. And worst of all, the back tail had a hammer on it. And anyone that tries to attack it, it will use that as a weapon. This was one of those dinosaurs that the T-Rex would attack without thinking. And this thing would show T-Rex what's up. Even if the Tyrannosaurus was successful in killing this animal, it would have done a lot of damage to the T-Rex. Because the T-Rex attacks with the mouth, and this one would hit it right in the face. Anywhere this hammer would hit, would destroy it. If the T-Rex would get too close, the Ankylosaurus would hit the T-Rex in the foot, and it would actually break it. Nobody told the T-Rex to not attack this thing. It's just a herbivore and doesn't hurt anybody. But the T-Rex has very low IQ. Ankylosaurus went through evolution and it turned out like this. This was a herbivore and it always got killed because it had no protection. But it went through evolution. It got very thick skin that looked like a bulletproof vest. And it got a hammer at the end of its tail. None of this is for the animal to get food is just to protect itself. In evolution, the T-Rex got very strong vision and a very strong sense of smell. Even though it has a very small brain, but most of the brain power 
is used for smelling and seeing far away, but it doesn't do much else. When a T-Rex would smell meat from a far distance, its brain would tell it to go towards that way. And it doesn't really know where exactly or what the meat is, because the brain power is not strong enough to detect that. As you know, dogs have a very strong sense of smell, especially these German Shepherds. Scientists believe that if you put a hundred German Shepherds together, it has the same power of smelling as a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That was insane, so it could smell anything from a very far distance. And a lot of scientists believe that the T-Rex has the strongest sense of smell in history of the planet Earth. For an animal like this, having these set of tools is useful. And I'm talking about the sense of smell because it can smell food from a very far distance. But this thing was very low IQ. If it smelled meat, it might have passed through fire to get to it. When the T-Rex was heading towards the smell, and another dinosaur all of a sudden showed up in front of him, he would forget about the smell. There's a new decision in its brain, and that's to kill this dinosaur in front of him. In the movies, they portrayed the T-Rex correctly, because anything it's confronted with, it wants to kill it. So who was the real enemy of the T-Rex? You might be thinking of something way bigger or the Mosasaurus, which we made a video about. But it's none of that. It's much smaller than the T-Rex. This guy, the Triceratops. They say this dinosaur is very similar to the rhino we know. It has two horns and one small horn on its nose. It was a lot smaller than the T-Rex. It was eight meters in length, three meters tall, and it weighed around six tons. And that makes it about one ton lighter than the T-Rex. Triceratops is smaller than T-Rex, but it's not afraid because it also wants to go to war to kill the T-Rex for some food. And as you know, the Triceratops is a carnivore as well. If there were cameras during the dinosaurs, you could have seen one of the best battles between animals, and that was between the Triceratops and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. They believe in history, whenever these two were confronted with one another, the Triceratops was usually the winner. Because before they went extinct, for every 10 Triceratops, there was only one T-Rex. And the population number shows us that the Triceratops was the better fighter. The reason the Triceratops would win is because of the massive horns it had. It had two one meter long horns and it would easily insert it in the body of the T-Rex. The Triceratops also had a very giant and strong skull because it was so strong that it wouldn't allow the T-Rex to grab the body of the Triceratops. The only thing the T-Rex could do is break off the horn. But at that point, the Triceratops would poke it with the other one. Either way, the female that went to get food got killed and the father and the kids starved. And this was the story of the most vicious dinosaur in the world. And everybody believes that this was the strongest one as well. But even though it was this strong and powerful, it would always die because of stupidity. 